What's in the average Java project? Well, for starters, a project consists of several packages. Packages pretty much resemble folders. They contain Java files and these Java files they have the .java extension. These Java files contain mainly Java classes and classes represent objects. These could be real world objects like a customer or an account, but they could also be a bit more abstract like a certain uh, a data object or some sort of model or database connection, stuff like that. Then in these classes, there are class members. Class members can be several different things. They could be data fields, they could also be other classes, and they can also be mini script to do something, and we call this methods in Java. Classes can actually have a few more members, like constructors, but we'll see those later in the course. For now, let's just focus on the data fields and the methods. Let's go over IntelliJ to see what these packages, classes, and class members look like. So here we have our first project. It's not too interesting yet. As I said, here is the project structure and you can see it has a source folder and in that source folder there is a special icon. It looks like a folder with a little dot in it. And this is the icon for package. To be honest, these are actually two packages. There's one package NL and there's one package BrightBoost. So I'm going to create a new package. I'm going to make this a subfolder of our BrightBoost package. So I'm going to right click Right click and add bright boost, say new package. And let's call this um, example. As you can see, it has made this new folder like thing underneath an L bright boost and it's called example. This is our package. Well, let's add a class to our package. So again, I'm gonna right click, but this time on example, and I'm going to say Java class. I'm going to give this a name. And I don't need to add the .java, IntelliJ will do that for me. What class shall I make? Let's make a car. So right now I have this generated class and it says public class car. Don't worry too much about what public means, just class is just to indicate that this file contains a class with the name car. And it's part of the package nl brightboost example because it's nl.brightboost.example. So this car, it can actually have several fields. It can have data fields and it can have these little scripts that actually do some sort of action called methods. So let's put that in. We can have data fields and we can have methods. I already said that there are some more possibilities for class members, but we'll discuss these later. So a sensible data field for a car, it would be number of doors. Well. We'll learn next week what exactly different data types are, but for now it's okay to know that int represents a round number. So one, two, three, four, etc. So let's give this a field number of doors and let's give it a method, uh, start car. Don't worry about this syntax, you'll see it later. So here is the name, start car. And then here I'm going to write again the system out print line that we saw before already. But this time I'm going to type it the lazy way. So I'm going to write south and then I'm going to hit the top button. There we go. Starting the car. Well, clearly a car has way more data fields and way more methods, but this is just for the illustration. I want to show a few more types of data field here. Only the easiest one. So we can have an int, which is a round number, but we could also have a piece of text, which would be a string. Please mind that the string is with a capital S. And again, I promise that you'll learn why later. So let's give it a string color and let's give it a double weight or whatever. I mean, cars have many, many data fields and these are just a few I used for the example. Well, what is a double? A double is some sort of decimal number. And the string is just a piece of text. And we have the int, which represents a round number. So to give an example, five. Um, let's give it a color. Example would be, and mind quotation marks, yellow, which is and let's go have a decimal number example well, for weight. Let's make it uh, 
1500.5. I can actually have more decimals, but I don't think it's necessary to be that precise about the car's weight. We have made a class car, we have seen it has data fields, and we have seen it has methods. Right now, we have seen what packages are. Packages are some sort of special folders containing Java files. We have seen classes, which are the main building block of the files in Java. And these uh, classes, they can actually represent objects that are a real world object or perhaps a bit more abstract. We've also seen class members. We've only discussed two. We've discussed the sort of data fields, the properties, and we've mentioned methods. In the comments, I'm going to add a link to some more information about these topics. And I'm going to give you some homework to actually get some hands-on experience with packages and classes. Good luck.